folks uh, welcome back Gardner here we got a fun uh, project coming up uh, right now we are uh, in the process still a little bit of a mess here just in the process of a cleanup uh, just gonna get all the old leaves and debris and sticks and everything out uh, we did all the trimming yesterday we've already put out maybe 11 yards of uh, the black uh, mulch so far we got three more on the trailer so that'll be for this uh, last section but uh, around the back, they got a, a sunroom put on, like a uh, like a Four Seasons room, a beautiful little addition off of the back of their house, uh, maybe off of the, the bedroom, I guess. Um, uh, but here is our, uh, here's gonna be our next little project. And uh, so I wanted to kind of give a little before and after. Um, we're just gonna, you know, kind of tie in the landscaping from the deck and uh, bring it on over to uh, wrap around this, uh, uh, you know, Four Seasons room and kind of uh, incorporate it. And, um, you know, basically uh, what we're doing um, is we'll come in with a, a uh, Chinese Kusa dogwood, uh, it looks similar to this uh they won't be quite blooming at the same time this is in full bloom that's a shasta viburnum two big beautiful shasta viburnums um but this one will bloom a little bit later and um uh but the uh the kusa dogwood with beautiful white flowers uh with the green leaves um kind of you know give ourselves a, a little flowering tree and then for the the base of this area we just really want to come in with some evergreen uh, cherry laurel uh, we've got some over around the deck and uh, just can't go wrong with cherry laurel to give you that nice beautiful um, you know full evergreen shiny look uh, they are starting to bloom now they get uh, some really nice flowers and they smell nice. Um, they're not really grown for the flowers. Um, but on either side of the deck, I mean, uh, the steps, um, we're gonna come in with uh, one on that side and one, one on this side. Come in with uh, two um, Hydrangea arborescence uh, Annabelle big beautiful round white flowers and uh, they will bloom earlier than the limelight so they'll be blooming first uh, so uh, the two white hydrangeas on each side of the uh, steps and then we're going to come in with a couple more cherry laurel just to fill in in these areas right here uh, but the focal point here uh, kind of right in front of this here fireplace and out in this area uh, we're gonna come in with a, um, a Jane Magnolia uh, so you know um, during the growing season it's it's gonna be uh, with the green leaves you know just a nice green presence um, but of course uh, very early springtime that's when uh, uh, just beautiful uh, pink and white blossoms just covering the tree uh, before it gets the leaves so that is uh, just an absolutely gorgeous tree um, and then like I said we're gonna um, we're gonna bring this around and tie in with the uh, the deck steps and then also um, right here I, I believe uh, we're just gonna go with the basic curve and that's all we're going to do so that will incorporate the tree the three cherry laurels the hydrangea we'll come in with some perennials probably um stella de Ora or happy returns uh, daylily uh something like that maybe even cat mint so what we're going to do here is come right off the deck steps again
tie in with the, the existing uh, shrubs. I mean, the existing, um, you know, beds here. Um, so it, it gives us that flow, a nice curve. Uh, coming back around, tie in with the steps and just continue right on around. So I'll bring you um, back along once um, once we uh, start uh, phase two of that planting project and uh, we get the soil delivered and the, the plants and start getting stuff installed and, you know, of course mulched and everything else. So anyway, folks, thanks again for joining me here at uh, GWR The Gardener. Anyway, all right, folks, thanks again. Stay tuned. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna bring you back on when we, uh, when we break ground. Okay, folks, uh, well, we're back. Uh, we've got a, a beautiful trailer load of plants. But, uh, oh, grass is looking nice and brown. It's just the way we like it. So we're gonna get, um, yeah, we're gonna get the plants uh, unloaded and uh, hopefully get a, a load of soil uh, out here today. Uh, we need to get, um, you know, maybe seven yards or seven tons of soil. Uh, but yeah, we're going to get these plants unloaded. Okay, folks, uh, well, that's kind of uh, pretty much the end of day one. Uh, we did pretty good. We got our soil here, uh, seven yards or seven tons of soil, and we got it spread out. Um, you know, we used it for the, uh, the new beds, 
um, and that'll mix with the existing soil as we dig the holes and plant the plants. And then, uh, you know, the rest of it was uh, was for, uh, uh, you know, addressing the, the lawn areas. I'm gonna do some fine tuning um, uh, tomorrow with, um, with a grading rake. And then of course, uh, seed and fertilizer and straw and all of that. And um, anyway, folks, thanks for uh, joining us here at uh, GWR The Gardener uh, for a, a you know, pretty fun uh, planting uh, lawn renovation job, I guess. And um, we'll see you, see you back uh, tomorrow morning, bright and early. Get these plants in the ground. Good morning. Um, day day three. Uh, yesterday we got a little rained out uh, halfway through, but we were able to get um, 
you know some important things done I, I really wanted to get this uh, this lawn area uh, fine graded you know while the soil was still dry and workable before we got the rain and uh, so yeah we were able to get that uh, graded out and then of course uh, some fertilizer and some uh, good quality um, grass seed and straw and then I was right on right on time for the rain so we got a little rain to uh, kind of wet down the straw and um, yeah so that's gonna um, hopefully uh, improve this uh, turf area um, uh, you know this has really been struggling for a long time so you know don't want to do all this uh, beautiful uh, landscaping and um, you know not have some some decent uh, turf to uh, uh, go along with it but um yeah so we got a few plants planted not as many as we would have liked maybe but that's what today's for so uh we're gonna try to get these plants uh, in the ground gotta get these uh, pipes uh, hooked up kind of have them in there just uh, temporarily uh because of the rain uh yesterday but uh we'll uh we'll dig them in and make them nice um get the trees in we got a couple more uh, trees, you know, uh, up there. Uh, we're gonna, we kind of swapped here, folks. Uh, I loved how this uh, forest pansy uh, red bud looked against the house, against the color of the siding, and against the white of the um, the trim and everything. It's just these beautiful burgundy leaves, and uh, this will just be a beautiful um, kind of an umbrella and. Um, and of course, in the springtime, we'll come out with, with uh, very early, beautiful purple uh, blooms. So instead of putting that guy out there, which was the original plan, I uh, fell in love with it here. So we made a, a you know, executive decision, I guess. Um, and so this guy, this is uh, Green, green Sleeves uh, Chinese Kusa Dogwood. And uh, you know this will get big, beautiful white flowers. They come later, um, after um, the American dogwoods. They bloom later, um, and so it's actually blooming right now. Uh, they're kind of warming up right now. So uh, next year, you know, this time of year they'll be just warming up, and then they'll be in full bloom in a week or two. So enough stalling. <laughs> It's, uh, we've got mulch on the trailer too. We got three yards of mulch. We picked that up yesterday too, but of course we didn't get anywhere near uh, putting that down. So hopefully we're going to be putting that down today. So we're going to make some progress. So yep, that's it. Let's uh, let's get some stuff done.
Okay, folks, uh, well, um, that's uh, it's kind of the end of day three, or uh, day uh, uh, two and a half, I guess, because yesterday we got kind of rained out, so uh, yesterday was kind of a half day, although it felt uh, like we got a pretty good amount done yesterday. Um, but yeah, we still have uh, we still have some more to go. Um, just a little bit. Um, I've got to get at least one more yard of mulch to finish up. Uh, we have um, two trees planted and two trees uh, yet to plant. And uh, once they're planted, um, you know, we got to mulch them, stake them, you know, make sure everything is watered and uh, just finish all the mulching. All right, folks. Well, thanks for uh, sticking with me uh, this far. And um, yeah, we'll see you uh, back again tomorrow morning. like that folks um yeah day four the morning of day four and uh yeah we're we're uh, looking pretty good we uh picked up that mulch uh, this morning uh finished up the mulching here um we still have to uh plant the two trees yeah i picked up the uh, uh three carl forester uh feather reed grass beautiful grass pop them in and then um, we utilized uh, some uh, patches of the daylilies out front uh, to do some transplants to kind of fill in. So, you know, we got some daylilies over there and one over here. And they're very nice because uh, they kind of pop out of the ground, you know, early in the springtime. And they'll be coming with, um, you know, beautiful orange flowers. Um, but anyway, I think these plants are going to be really happy here. And uh, I think this is just going to really grow into a, a beautiful landscape. So anyway, folks, thanks so much uh, for joining me here, GWR the Gardener, um, for you know really fun little uh, uh, plant uh, design and install and little lawn work and all that. So anyway, folks, I will uh, we'll see you again next time somewhere in the garden. And um, yeah, thanks again. We'll see you again. All right, bye bye.